P5 class, I would like to greet you. I know you are fine. I'm here, again, I can remind you on my name. I'm Mr. Manika John, just like we have been learning. I just reminded you my name because you might be taught by somebody whom you, it is not good not to understand somebody's name. But last time, when we were learning science of P5, uh, I remember I left you with an activity that you did very well and I know you wrote very good answers. So check your answers with mine. If you find out that yours is not matching with mine, you kindly correct it. But I know you passed it because I explained much. Now, the first activity was what causes yellow fever? And the answer is virus. Name the vector that spreads yellow fever. And the answer is tiger or AIDS mosquito. Which vaccine is given to people to prevent yellow fever? That vaccine is called yellow fever vaccine. Yellow fever vaccine. This yellow fever vaccine is given to people who are traveling to outside the country. Some, some of you call, them, uh, call those countries abroad. Now, those countries, if you have not been immunized against yellow fever, you might not be allowed to cross the border. For them, they believe that when you are immunized against yellow fever, you will not spread the disease. The disease will not be spread to their countries. Therefore, you need, you need to get what you call a card or a yellow book that will be that you will present at the border before you cross to another country. Then, another, the last question was, how does clearing of bushes help in controlling yellow fever? Slashing bushes or clearing bushes, it destroys the hiding places for mosquitoes. It destroys the hiding places for mosquitoes. So today, as we go on, our lesson of today, these are the outcomes that I want to get in you. At the end of this lesson, one, you will be able to mention the causes of meningitis. Remember, meningitis is one of the other immunizable diseases. One of the other immunizable diseases. You will be able to give the signs and symptoms of meningitis. You will state the ways of preventing meningitis. Mark the spelling of meningitis. It is M-E-N-I-N-G-I-T-I-S. Meningitis. Meningitis is caused by germs. But ask someone, think about, touch your head and think about, close your eyes and think about that germ that causes meningitis. Which germ causes meningitis? You can help yourself by asking your brother who is seated near you and say, what causes meningitis? What has he told you? Yes. Now check your, your discussion, what, what, what you have come out with, with mine. Meningitis is caused by either bacteria or virus. So even if you mention bacteria, you'll be correct. Even if you mention virus, you'll be correct. Then how does it spread? 
This is an airborne disease. Meningitis is an airborne disease. So it spreads through contaminated air. If you are seated with somebody who has meningitis and as he breathes out, that air that is coming from that person with meningitis is contaminated. So when you breathe that air in, you will also get meningitis disease or the germs that cause meningitis. Which part of the body does it attack? It attacks the nervous system. It attacks the nervous system. And the, that system consists of the brain and the spinal cord. The brain and the spinal cord. So which parts of the body are, atta are attacked by meningitis? It attacks the brain and the spinal cord. Where do we find the spinal cord? The spinal cord is found in, a, in, the, in the group of bones that make up your back, that we call the backbone or vertebral column, or we call, we call them the spine, those bones there. So inside, you find, a, that, that, you find that part of the nervous system that we call the spinal cord. And the brain, of course, it is found in the skull. And somebody will say, nervous system. What do you understand by the nervous system? Our bodies are made up of what you call nerves. These nerves have different functions. They are those that carry out uh, the, the function of, of, of sensing something. Like somebody, if somebody pinches you, how do you feel that it, it is, you have been pinched? And how do you respond? I see, when, when somebody pinches, you feel pain. What makes you to feel pain? It is the nerves that carry the message from that pinched part and they take it to the brain and the brain will say, oh, somebody is pinching, you can withdraw the hand from him. So it is the, those nerves that make up, it is the, those nerves that make up the nervous system. So we can move on. Uh, what are the signs and symptoms of meningitis? Signs and symptoms of meningitis. What are those signs? How do you tell that somebody has meningitis? And what are the signs? We have signs and symptoms. Signs are seen while symptoms are just felt. Symptoms are just felt. Therefore, let's look at them. One, one of the signs, stiff neck. The neck becomes stiff. You can't turn it or you can't bend it backward or forward or sideways, but it becomes what? Stiff in one place. Then we have a person starts vomiting. A person vomits. So when a person vomits, that's also a, a sign of meningitis. Then a severe headache. The head starts paining you severely. Then another thing is pain at, in the neck. Pain in the neck. You develop the pain. The moment you try to turn, you feel, oh, this, the, the neck is paining me. If I, when you turn this side, when are you bend back? So the, you have to move when the neck is just stiff in one position like this. Because when you turn it, you'll feel pain. Then we have tiredness, severe tiredness. You find somebody all the time is just weak, is just there. Every time is weak. Even if you eat, eat energy giving food, you feel ah, you are still weak. Oh my God. So it is not. Uh, whenever you, you feel tiredness, it might be meningitis. Then, a person has fever. Fever is a symptom. Fever is a symptom. So, you are going to have fever the, 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 when the temperature, fever is the condition when the body temperature goes beyond the normal one. The body temperature goes beyond the normal one. That is fever. It's a symptom, not a sign. Then there is loss of consciousness. Loss of consciousness. You find some people, you are just seated on the, in your chair at home and 
you lose your consciousness, you, you don't understand what is taking place. What do I mean? You faint. You lose your consciousness all the time. So you faint and that one is meningitis, the signs and symptoms of meningitis. Now, how can we prevent and control this meningitis disease? Because it is also immunizable. One, we treat the, the person who is infected with meningitis by giving him antibiotics because we say it is caused by bacteria. Another one, in the case of fever, we lower the body temperature by cooling. How do you cool the body temperature? You do what we call tepid sponging. You do what we call tepid sponging. T-E-P-I-D. T-E-P-I-D. That is tepid sponging. You get a piece of cloth, put in cold water, and later you, 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 you apply on the body of that person who has high fever. And then another one, through immunization, you must be immunized against meningitis. Get immunized against what? Meningitis. Then another one, treat the sick people in isolation. Treat the sick people in isolation because it is an airborne disease, meaning that it can quickly spread. It can quickly be spread. Therefore, we should treat this person in isolation like like corona it is it, it can spread it's a communicable disease so it spreads from one person to another therefore that's why these people have coronavirus or corona covid 19 they are treated in mulago and you are not allowed to go there meaning they have been isolated they don't want the disease to be spread from one from one person to another. So, you have to treat the sick person in isolation. As, you, as usual, I have prepared for you uh, an activity that you are going to that you are going to do for me. And uh, make sure you write well. I like good handwriting. I like good work. And I'm going to mark it. Last time I marked it here, but this time I'm coming there to mark. So do it very well. And I'm coming to check it, to check the answers once again. With that, I want to thank you and continue encouraging you to keep social distancing. And don't move here and there. Let's keep in one place and we shall all be alive. Like me, I'm teaching in, 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 as a social distance because for you at home, for mom here. Thank you.